Yep. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Raft Reloaded. We are continuing our adventures here in uh, Varuna Point. We last left off having found this massive shark that we have to deal with uh, here at Pluto, as it Hello. always. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, start working our way through uh, trying to figure out this shark over here, because that's what you guys have been waiting to see. Well, should we have it? Should we have? Should we? Should we show that? Give them a taste of what's coming next episode. Yes. yes. All right. Let's give them a taste of what's coming next episode. Yeah, we gotta fight that. Well, maybe not. Oh, we haven't got. We haven't gotten the other video edited and out yet. <laughs> yep. All right. What do we? Oh, I forgot about him. Yep, I forgot he does that. Okay, so you remember how to do this? Yeah, we have to put some explosives and stuff. Well, we have to make him hit the pillars first. There we well, go. That'll do it. All right, I'll get the explosive barrel. Okay. He ran away. This has to be like one of the best boss fights in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good boss fight. I'd say it's better than the last one because it's actually kind of clever. Where'd he go? Even though. Oh, he went to the wall. He yeah, I know. But like, there. There he is. Yeah, that hole there. Easy. That works too. Now we can go up. And up we go. They changed this from the original. You had to get all the pillars in the, in the original version of this fight. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think I think I remember that. I don't know. Oh God. I'm pretty sure he does hurt you. Yes, he does, but I'm just trying yeah. to get away from him. I need some air because I'm about to drown. There's air in the middle. And there's also like little air pockets on the side. Yeah, I know. I'm, I found one. Where is he? He's still in the little holes. Did you know the hole that he goes to is actually the outside of the whole building? Yes, like I, I did. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, he's going after you. Oh, okay, well then we'll just work on this pillar. Yep, might as well. Let's work. Wait for him to come back. Oh, he's over there. He's over there. Ah, you made room. Go ahead and put this over here then. Oh, you already got it. Okay. Yep. I need some I'll just, bring though, this up next. I'll just bring this up so that way we can immediately use it when we're ready. Oh, the next barrel? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's no barrel in it. Oh, oh, there is. No, there is. Oh. Okay, never mind then. Come on. Oh, he's gonna go. Is he gonna go in? He's gonna turn. He's gonna try to attack. He's going after yeah. you. Yeah, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you uh, entice him. Okay, we're good. There we go. Much faster that way. Oh, okay, it just completely made me. Del it just deleted the barrel. Aw, that sucks. <laughs> it's not like they're that far away. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, he missed. <laughs> nice. Sometimes that happens. Okay. This one we gotta hit. All right, three got times. him once. Got him once. Or four times that technically, because we have to get him on the explosive barrel. Okay. I'm gonna come gotta stay on top of the air, you know. Eh, I've gotten pretty good about ah, that. Ah, he got me. Yeah, I didn't see I him come in. I didn't see him come back in the room. It's very annoying that he like goes out because like, you don't know where he's gonna come, unless he's there, unless he de destroys a wall. Oh, he's over there. He's over there. Nice. Yay. Okay, I need air. Yeah, me too. Fortunately, he leaves the room for a second after he bangs it, so it gives you time to go get some air and. Well, no, because he's right there. Where is he? So, uh, if he hits him. the metal, it doesn't work. Yeah, I know. Hey there, buddy. Up you go. There we go. All right. Let's get a barrel on there. I got one. Right, he's well, he's probably gonna hit. He's probably gonna hit me. Yeah. Okay. Oops. You know, he 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 made me hit in their pocket, so I'm okay with that. Come on, buddy. Aw, uh, he went out the room. I think that every almost every time he hits something, he goes out of the room. 
Oh, okay. And that's it for him. Well, that works. That works. Alright. Hopefully your inventory is empty because we get a lot of shark meat up here. Oh yeah. Is he dead? I can't collect it. I'm in the middle of collecting him. Oh, I need air. Oh, okay. Well, it's not letting me collect him, so I think you have to do it. That's fine. I'll go up and get it. Alright. One time someone tried to, or someone tried to wear the rhino shark on, the, on, on their head. Because they thought it was All like right. a hat. We got him. Well, this is perfect that we just finished because I could just got food. So on the way to the next area, we can... But can you wait a second because I gotta put this down. Okay. Alright. Uh, actually, you can just keep going because I know my way. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Oh, blueprints. We can research the wind turbine now. Nice. Oh, you forgot the crane key. Oh, did I? Be, that would be very important to have. All the way back right. down. Oh, yeah? We gotta go. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, I'm climbing, every, you can, you can, I'm climbing the ladder. ladder. Um, I don't think I can up. I don't think I can get up there without the zipline. So you can just collect everything. Oh, we had the wrapped. Uh, let's see. I need to put the crane key in here and pull the lever, and that is gonna make this happen. Bombs away! All right, there we go. I don't think I can get over there without the zipline. So you can just collect everything. Okay. Down we go. Okay. Planks and plastic. Where did you put the hammer? I don't think there's anything like except for everything down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead. We'll get the advanced battery and our nice. note for temperance. It's too bad that each advanced battery costs one titanium. Yeah, unfortunately, but you know, doesn't look like we can open these doors. So I have to uh, so expensive. finagle my way out this way. All right. We're back up to the surface and to the raft, and we can get out of here. That, my friends, was Veruna Point. We are now on our way to Temperance. Let's do that. Does that work? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. This is our trophy oh. for killing the big rhino shark. We'll have to find a better place for him at some point, but for now, I guess that kind of works. Should have turned him around so he's hanging off the front, though. I get. I actually know that works, I think. That works better. Gives us a little bit more space to uh, walk around up there. Did you disconnect again? Yeah. What? Where'd you go? I saw you for a second, and then you disappeared. I said I died again. What? Oh, I saw you standing there for a second. Oh, we're here. Okay, I have to yeah, wait to wait unstuck to for a minute. All right, well, then uh, let me fill up my water and we can go. All right, I'm just going to jump on here now. I need Let's to do it. The... <clears throat> up. Got to find our way. I think you know what the best thing in, in this area is. Can't say that I do. Oh, okay. Um... All right, well, I guess we can just go up this way. I don't even know what side of the island we're on. How do we get up? We I have to up. find a way up. How? The way you were trying. You just got to keep pressing the space bar. All right, you can just go. I'm gonna find another entrance to make this a little easier. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm already at the little little settlement over here. All right. Well, just so that way it's a little bit easier, so we don't have to keep on trying to get up. I'm just gonna find another entrance. You can get started on the puzzles, though. I don't remember what the puzzle is. We and we we need to we need to run around and find all the wire, right? Yes. Because we can't open up any of this without the wire. Yeah.
going here now. Get some good stuff. Nice. I uh, know. I think we need more than eight then. Yeah, probably. More or less need to go around the entire island. There's also going to be tokens here, so be on the lookout for them. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Two tokens. Nice. My inventory is already full. Yeah? <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> why, are you, why are you walking so slow? Oh. <laughs> That'll do it. I think we can actually get to the middle room soon. Wait. Um... Where was, yeah, I, I think, think there's a room over here we gotta here. get to, yeah. rope down here, another cable down here. Is it this one? I think this one already. Or not. Where? Oh, this okay. One? Nice. Alright, we need to get more. Detto is really smart. Using material we salvaged, he was able to fix up my boat. Ruben is recovering too. But, uh... He doesn't seem to want to talk to me a lot. Both of them stare whenever I talk to him. Henry doesn't like the way they look at us. Let me go get some more um, do something. cables. Okay. Is that all the cables that we had? Yeah. I'm on my way back. You can just like look around. I think there's notes in there actually though. Silver right. smoothie. What do I want to drop for the silver? Oh, rock. I don't need a rock. Oh, there's vending machines in here. I think you mean stone. Whatever. I'm just trying to be annoying. Well, you excel at that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you know what? There. You're stuck in there now. Oh, found some copper in here. Uh Detto showed me and Henry some abandoned igloos. The boy got them open. Alright, well you're you're stuck in there now, so haha. -ha. Well, like I said, you excel at being annoying. What's inside? Mm. Detto introduced me to a man named Ruben. He was hurt. Looked like wounds from a bear. All right. So, I so we'll finish up this little note here and call it a day. Used to fix up my wounds hey, was there any notes in there? Where are you, sis? Huh? Was there any notes in there? Um, I don't recall seeing any, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any. It just means I didn't see any. There might not be. I don't know. I don't remember. All right. Well, let's go ahead and close out this episode then. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing commitment, but would still like to help out, you can click that thanks button. It's sort of a YouTube version of a tip. Direct contributions such as these are greatly appreciated and a critical component to turning this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. We hope you had lots of fun. Be sure to come back for the next one, and we'll see you then. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Story of Varen a Point Unlike Tangaroa, Varen a Point was not fully constructed, so at the time that the water started rising, Verona Point was still a construction site.
A construction worker at Verona started stealing items from his co-workers. It started with food and got to actual construction tools. People were afraid of this thief and started referring to him as the grabber. He was proud of this name and noted that he was getting better and better at stealing. His co-workers eventually fled and abandoned the building. Even though he had the whole place to himself, the rapidly rising water was a problem for him too. Now, the grabber kept his stolen goods in a motherload cache deep down in the lower levels of the building. The water eventually consumed the whole area, keeping the grabber away from his treasures. His last resort was to steal things from people who would stay at Verona Point for a rest. Among these people was Bruno, the crazed man who was looking for his sister. Bruno came to Verona, hoping to use the tall crane as a radio tower to try and contact his sister. The grabber stole Bruno's doll, Miranda. Obviously, this upsets Bruno and he quickly leaves. Eventually, Ruben and Dedo show up. The grabber stole a set of old tools from them and they left quickly after. It is not confirmed who or where the grabber is. Thanks for watching.